bringing you more, more, more gaming goodness. Right, so today we're going back to Five Leagues from the Borderlands. Why? Because it's a damn good game. And secondly, because I wanted to carry on with my uh, more time reskinning of it, the Five Streets from the Crater. Unfortunately, there's been a small accident. Yes, what's that you say? Well, I had to dig out all my paperwork for uh, the Symbarum role-playing game that I've been running for the boys um, because we're about to start it again, so I had to dig it all out. And whilst doing so, I'm quite happily throwing away random pieces of paperwork. Wee woo hoo wah! Uh, Realised that my warband and all my more time notes uh, were in that pile of stuff I'd thrown out. So it's a case of roll up wants to play it again, so I'm going to start it again, and you're going to have to watch. Or not, you can always bugger off. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing the same with Necromunda at the moment, whereas I'm going to do the, the normal version of the game, and then another normal version of the game. So I'm going to do, for example, I'm going to do the Five Leagues in the Borderlands rip of Mordheim, and then I'll do a normal Mordheim as well, but with the solo bits that I've taken from. It gets confusing, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't. Not if you know what you're doing, which I don't. So, brand new warband uh, for today's game. And what I've done, I've taken a map of Mordheim. It's an old campaign map. Now, it's already got areas marked in on it for control, etc. What I'm doing in this then is because you've got your three threats and I thought well each after each threat battle you you know if you win you drop the threat rating so what I've done so we've got um, Ruins Within, Gnawling Horde and Curse of War so it's like 665 so what I've done is I've broken them down so I've just randomly gone right this can have one point from uh, Ruin Within this can have one point from Ruin Within making five points of the room within campaign and then making five for Norling Horde and then six or five or whatever the other number oh it's six five five isn't it and then the other number so they're all scattered about on here on this map they're all numbered um, if I travel to it then instead of having a choice of either doing a normal fight or a threat fight because it's more time and more time is meant to be a lot nastier it's a threat battle because it'll say so on my little map makes perfect sense doesn't it we start off in one of the little places around the edges. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, and as long as you want, to, as long as you can trace a route through the places that you've battled, you can kind of travel anywhere, sort of thing. So it's got, as usual, we've got three hideouts, three enemy, three hidden enemy hideouts, uh, three camps, and there's a delve. They're already marked on my map. This is where it got crazy because I thought, right, okay, well, I'll start doing the, the shiz. So I've got the gang all rolled together. Um, I'll talk you through them when we start. So to start with, you would start off in a camp. So it made, made sense that we was travelling to Sigmar Haven, which is one of the little towns on the outskirts of Mordheim. So I had to camp, before, so rolled after that. Got lost on the way. Couldn't even get to the starting point safely, so we had to, uh, but we made a friend, we made a sociable friend, um, he is Gilbert the Crafter. Yay. Um, so that was turn one. Uh, second turn, we decided to live off the land, so we didn't have to pay any upkeep, just as well. Scouted nothing, travel was miserable weather. But we managed to get where we wanted to go, so we finally got to Sigmar Haven. Yay! Finally at a town. Turn three. So, in Sigmar Haven, uh, a local tavern owner was showing off, so again, no upkeep for the turn, which was good. Uh, we met the locals, we got a contract offer, uh, we helped out the town guard. Again, no upkeep, I didn't know that did that, so it's a good thing to know. Um, Contract was a source, an individual is going to give us a reward 
uh, of one gold and a villager friend. It's a locate item, there's no time limit on it. So I think it's at the end of each adventure you roll to see if you've found or something like that. But then we thought, right, it's time to start travelling. We want to get into more time and start doing the stuff in there. So we had to travel to the river gates. Uh, we met someone, a keen-eyed a keen-eyed shepherd, no less, and he offers us, he's offered us a quest. Uh, we can go back and pick it up at any time. So awesome. Finally get to the river gates, uh, we've rolled for the enemy and everything, and we've got a whole, we've got a group of gnawling tunnel fighters, eek, quite tough, there's eight of them, but there's also unknown number, so we take three of them, we take three off, put an unknown marker on, blah 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 blah, and they are led by a unique character, they've got a feral mercenary, which I just basically turned around and said is a rattling leader, a yeah, skaven leader, end of. Um, so we've just got to eliminate the enemy, so it's a case of stab them in the face, get rid of them, job done. Mm. And then I thought, because Mordheim is such a brutal place, if you then want to get, if you then want to have the town section again in the uh, beginning part of the campaign bits each turn, you're going to need to travel back to one of the settlements on the outskirts. If you can't, then you have to camp inside more time, so you roll on the camp table. So that's basically it. Um, so yeah, we've... Do, 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 do. So we were, we finally got to here, our base of operations, and we've done a little travel, and we are now here at the, uh, the river gates. Unfortunately, there's nothing else here. There's no other specific battles or anything. So this is the, our first battle in here. And my little boys, my uh, Dietrich's finest. Let's get into Mordheim and hopefully survive. Go grab yourselves a cup of tea. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome to Mordheim, the River Gates. The river flows down that away somewhere. Here is our illustrious band of heroes. So we have Dietrich, our leader, he's an ex noble. We have Royce, who's a uh, ex townsfolk militia chappy. We have Grimbold, our little dwarven buddy stomping along there. We have Galen back there with a the crossbow and a helmet. And then we have our two followers. We have Squinty, who's our uh, one-eyed roaming traveller with a bow. And old Bert, who's a quiet forester. Those are our heroes. So far on the table, we have two Norlings, Skaven there. Two here, one with a bow here. One with, they've both got crossbows. And another group just here that you can't quite see, including their leader. This marker here is our unknown stompy stomp numbers of troopies. So, we are all ready to go. And as usual, we've got our dice here all ready to roll for the quickness phase. So, what have I got? Apart from the fact I've got my glasses, I can't bleed and see what I'm doing. Let's get the glasses. Whoop, here they are. And have a little looky. I think I've got two people with twos. Yeah, Dietrich and Galen. So we're rolling. Oh, that's nice. We've got two twos and a one. So we are going to. I normally have some little counters somewhere, but I seem to have misplaced them. So I'm just going to put the di I'll put the dice on their characters. That's a good idea, Straw. So, Galen, Dietrich, and who else am I going to have? Let's have Grimbold. I'm going in the first phase. And the others will be going in the slow phase, which is after the monster monster phase, the 5.30 at Chepstow. Right, so for this, it's just a simple fight. 
So let's go with Grimbold. He's got a move of four, which is seven if he dashes, but because he's wearing partial armor, that would drop by one. So he will be a move of six. He's got nothing else he can do. So it's like, let me at him. He stomps to there. Grimbold is done. Then we have Galen, who is here. Now, he's got a crossbow. Now, am I right in thinking that crossbows you can't move and fire? Cannot move and shoot in the same turn. What's the range? The range is 24. Ugh, he can't quit. There is a possibility of a shot there. But, oh, bollocks, I you have a tape measure because it's not up here, it's downstairs. Oh, wank. Pause, back in a sec. Bloody hell, I forgot the tape measure was downstairs, been measuring the garden for posts. Uh, and it's very warm again. Right, so it's 24 inches. So there is the possibility of a shot there. And I think we would be foolish not to take it so he's not moving. And he is firing a shot straight down at that Skaven there with its crossbow. Oh, la 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 la. Just remembering how ranged attack. If attackers do not move, they can add their combat skill. Woohoo! He hasn't got any. Uh, la 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 la. What do I need to hit? Uh, I need, within weapon range and out in the open, I need a five. So I roll a hit. We've rolled a two, so no. Thunk. First shot of the game, zings into nowhere. And then Dietrich has a speed of four, plus three if he dashes. Minus one because he's got partial armor. So he will be able to move. Raw over a dead body to there. So that's our three guys for this bit done. Monster phase. Now normally you roll on tables, and I have for my own stuff. I have normal tables as well to roll the enemies on, but that's different in this. So uh, with these types, start with the figure closest to the player's battlefield edge, work backwards until every enemy figure has acted. Enemy used the following ranged targets. So closest enemy within eight of the shoot and nearest opponent with the range and closest target. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the enemies moving? Do, 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 do. Whew. Warm, 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 warm. Don't like it warm. Right. Right, ranged troops will try to move to a position of cover where they can shoot at their opposition. They will only advance to keep the air types within sight. Uh, ranged troops will not usually leave cover if they put them in the me there. Right then, so this chap here does not have a line of sight, so he is going to move. And they are on a move of six. Blah. So he'll be able to get to there. Then this one will shoot, and it will shoot the closest, which is Grimbold. So he's going to take a shot at Grimbold, and he is going to need a five. He has rolled a five. Thunk. So now he rolled to bypass the armour, and I've got partial armour and a shield. Shield helps against range, puts me on an armour of three. It's a four. It's already gone through the armour. Now we roll for the toughness. Does a crossbow give bonuses to damage or toughness? I can't remember. Crossbow is to overcome armour. So, yeah, definitely through the armour. Rolling against toughness. Oh, I've dropped me bleeding dice on the floor. It's a four. Now, Grimbold, what is your toughness, young man? Young man, you're a dwarf. Oh, young man. Toughness of four. 
so that is equal to equal to toughness they are wounded and stunned Burr. so have I I have got a wounded counter so thunk oh and a stun what shall I use for stun oh I had something for stun didn't I Stun, stun, stun. Where have I put them? Oh, come on, you is somewhere. Not there, not there. Bags and bags of counters. And why can't I find that one? Ah, of course they're on the table next to me. Twat. Okay, and stunned. Oof. Well, that's not. That's not good. I need to check what wounded and stunned do. Well, I know if you take two wounds, you 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 did out of it. Uh, stunned. Best bit about this rule book, it has an index. Stunned, 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 stunned. Bear with, bear with. Stunned, page 44, thank you very much. Uh, they want to become defender. Recovery stunned after an exchange is four, unless they're stunned again. Character that is stunned recovers automatically at the end of the phase. That's not good though. And wounded. I just check wounded as well, but I think that's what I th the way I, th I think it is. Wounded. 44. If I don't act as normal, right? Okay, that's all good to know. So, thunk, thunk, thunkity thunk. That's the two bow people, and the others. Let me move somewhere. Towards the nearest opponent, attempts remaining cover. Yeah. So, this chappy here, nearest enemies are those ways, so. To there. Trying to remain in cover, so he'll zip. To there. And there. And then. Oh! Zoom and zoom remaining in cover. So that's the bad guys all done. It's so now back to my my war band. Whoop, whoop. So we have got Royce. He's like, what the bloody hell is going on here? So he is on a speed of five plus three if he dashes. So that's eight minus. Oh no, he's only got light armor, so he's okay. So, right, you little scaven bastards. He moves to there. And then. Oh, Bert. He's gonna do the funky gibbon. Bert will move into there. And Squinty, with his self bow that's only got a range of 18, don't think he can hit. 
and what the fact you can't see anything. That one's in range, but I don't think there's a line of sight. Oh, hello. Hello. Nose, I can't shoot through my lot. Oh. So he is going to move. And he is. Oh, there's some cover there, that'll do. And move. To there. So that is my group done. And that's the first turn. So I would just grab a couple of quick pickies. As our heroes go stomping down the main street. the Skaven lay in ambush. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put some smoke effects on those ones later. And I forgot this gets to move five inches towards the centre of the table. That's six, so move to there. Dun, 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 dun. Stingray, stingray. Deleted. Ooh, much. Right then, so, turn two. And again, six dice for our heroes. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh dear, Madge. Mm, that's not good. Let's just zoom in for you. That's where all the action is. No one is going in the fast phase. They're all going to be going after the monsters. Bugger. So again, monsters will be shooting. So we go with the ones, the bowmen first. Uh, you're bowmen, yes you are. You now have line of sight down to old Bert. So you are going to take your shot. You're going to need a five. Three, you have missed. You're going to take a shot at the closest, which again will be Grimbald the Dwarf. You're going to need a five and you have missed. The others will now, surely they must do they? Um, they are unable to advance further without leaving cover. They will do so with the fastest and most direct route possible. Right. So, in that case, this one will hop over the bits into there. Quickest route possible. It's going to put you to there. Yeah. Same for you. It's going to put you to about there. You. Yeah. There. And you, as you get to there, you are then converted into whatever you are, which is, where's the roving monster bit? Unknown foes. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, two. Or one, two, three. No, it's not you either. One, three, seven. No. Come on, where are you? 34. 34, there you are. Right, so that converts into... Oh, Christ. That converts into... <laughs> you know, like this, not a lot. Into... One... Two, three, don't panic, I haven't finished yet. Three, oh god, that's horrible. Three, four, five of the bastards. Oh, shit. The actual proverbial bed. Bollocks. <laughs> I can hear more coming. I can. Oh, Christ. And they will pop out there. Yay! My go, woo. Well, I can safely say, bugger. That is not looking good. However, that stone goes. Now, our boys, our b -b 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 boys. So, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Grimbold, let me move that blood token, stick on his character sheet. Is gonna go rawr, into there. So move in and he will fight. He is the aggressor. So three rounds. Am I adding any bonuses? Grimbold is on at no bonuses. As the Gaven, they are on one plus, plus anything? Um, plus one at combat, ugh. So, Grimbold versus that first Skaven. Grimbold's rolled a six, the Skaven has rolled a two. Grimbold has hit the Skaven because I was the aggressor. Scaven on an armour of two, I've rolled over the two, roll to see what damage we do on it. Just a basic hand weapon, a six. Pretty sure a six is a good night. If the total is higher than the target's toughness, they become a casualty. Oh, Kills one scabby Scaven. Next. That's going to fall over. Just move that. There's a gate in the way. There we go. Right, so next we're going to have Royce. He's going to move in to there as the aggressor. And have a go at that Skaven. Has Royce got any bonuses? He's on plus one. So Royce rolls four, becomes five. The Skaven rolls a six, which becomes seven. So Skaven wins that, so it's defended itself. It's now the aggressor. Skaven rolls a four, becomes five. Royce rolls a two, which becomes three. Royce has been hit. Rolls the Skaven can overcome his armor. He's only got an armor of one. It's over the armor. Roll to see what the woundage is. It's a one. I don't think that's anything, is it? The target is stunned. Blah. And third exchange, 
the rat rolls a six, which becomes seven, becomes eight because Royce is stunned. Royce rolls a six, which becomes seven. Oh, very close. Uh, roll for the armor. Now it's beating my armor. And roll for the damage. It's a two. It's still under my toughness. Higher than the toughness rating. Equal to or below. Wounded and stunned. Do, 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 do. Ugh, ugh. Ugh. But at the end of that exchange, that goes. Oof, that's not looking good, is it? So. Next, I think. Our leader is coming in against their leader. Yeah, pat it on the nose. There he go. Hello, nice ratty. So, Dietrich is on no bonuses to hit. The beastie is on plus two. Oh, Christ. Right, so Dietrich has rolled a one. Oh, fuck off. Just no. No, no, no. No, just no. 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 And the rat has rolled a one. But the rat's still got more. So it now becomes the aggressor. Five. Seven for the rat. Uh, not enough for me. So can it roll over Dietrich's armor? Yes, it can. Roll for woundage. Four. Dietrich's toughness is only three. Oh, hell's teeth. Where's my leg? Dietrich is going. I've got to get a picture of that. We'll get a picture of him tapping it on the nose and then being smashed in the face by it. Oh, no. There, there. Nice little ratty. Nice little rat. Hello, nice little rat creature. Oh, no, 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 no not nice little rat creature. Get off my face. Oh. Bugger. Um, hmm. That didn't go well. So now. Oh Bert, oh Bert, you're not going to go charging in there, old Bert, you're, you're no, that'd be silly. Uh, no, he is, you know, old Bert's like, no, oh, you can't till the leader. He's going to go running in, so he's the aggressor. He's on plus nothing, and I've rolled a five, the Skaven rolls a six, so Skaven is now the aggressor, so two, six, that's eight against oh not a lot the follower doesn't have any armor oh oh hell's teeth where's both me legs oh good lord so that leaves squinty who is going to take a shot at it have at the vile scum now i Am I within six inches? What is that? That's not... That's a six inches. Come hither. Are we? Oh, yes we are. So we only need a three to hit it. It's a one! That means he's run out of ammo. Oh, come on. Oh... Oh no, 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 no. Hmm, and that's the end of that turn. Oh dear. To say things are looking dire would be a understatement. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's leading by example, isn't he? So turn three, when can I run away? <laughs> um, 
Oh, there is a thing about leaving, isn't there? About getting out, getting the rock out of town. Um, lost in the dark or something table? Is that a thing? Uh, let's just check. No. Oh, just flip through, through the rules, it's quicker that way. Movement, battle round, enemy movement. Yeah, the enemy can just piss off, that's what they can do. Combat. Uh, stun, spells, I'm going to using any spells. Running away! Players controlling forces do not test to see if they run away. We assume your characters stick it out for the sake of fame, glory and loyalty to their brothers. You taking the piss? Um, if a moving character comes on one inch of the battlefield, they may opt to retreat from the battle as part of their move. Uh, you may have to run the flight from the dark. Flight from the dark. Depending on the scenario played. Alright, so let's just check the scenario. Do, do, do. Doodly doo boo! Uh, which is a meeting engagement. Mm -mm. Time limits. No, no, no. Eliminate the enemy. No, no, no. So that's just fine and dandy and lovely and great. So, let's roll for some of my, let's take my corpses away. Oh, Bert, deep trick. So we're on one, two, three, four. Hmm. <laughs> Burr. And none of mine are going first. They're all going in the very, very slow dead phase, I think. Right. Oh god, so it's monsters first then, isn't it? Ooh. So Bowman. There's one back there. He now can't see anything, so he's going to have to move to there. And that Bowman can't see anything, so he will move to there. And, th and then... Um... <laughs> This one will fight. La 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 la. Oh. Oh, well, we've both rolled a six. Uh, the rat wins because I don't have. A, no, I do have a plus one. That's a draw. We part. Eh. Eh. At uh, that point, this chap goes brrr, into Dwarfy. And rolls a five, so puts him on seven, and Dwarfy is on two. Roll to see if the Skaven gets over the Dwarf's armour, which it does. Roll to wound the Dwarf. Oh, God! Bugger. And there, and no more and then. This Skaven comes rushing forward into there. Yum, 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 yum. And rolls that. I, oh, Christ on a bike. I am rolling so badly. Does it go over my armour? Yes, it does get over my armour. Does it maul me into death? Yes, it does. Oh. Oof. And then this lot. Yeah. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Comes scuttling forward. You can't take our tan. Which then leaves me with two characters. Two characters are staring down the street thinking, um, uh, yeah, you know what? Um, flee! <laughs> I broke my boat. Let's get the fuck out of here. So he'll move to there ish. And he'll sort of, yeah, get to here. As they're both like, get the fuck out of here. No, no, no. 
okay that's got to be just one more picture of that lot hasn't it of all of this lot scampering down here scaring our lot out of bleeding city to oh, escape well uh, that went swimmingly didn't it I'll just I'll just get my corpses back off the table shall I right so who you are there you are there let's just get the book <sighs> post <laughs> post battle Need to just grab a pencil. <laughs> oh well, that wasn't very successful, was it? No, but I like it because it's it's made the sto story in, in my head is already like a hmm, Dietrich's finest wandered into Mordheim and quickly run away. Okay, um, activity, yeah. Adventure points, no, we didn't get any of those. Check for injuries and flight in the dark. Oh, that's what the flight in the dark table was for. Well, we didn't have to roll on that, so that's okay. So our two boys are all right. Now, let's roll for this lot. Oh, it's a D100, isn't it? It bloody would be. Where's me other guys? Hold on. There they are. Yeah, come here. Okay, D100. So this is for Dieter. Dieter Dietrich Var. Hero. 21. Oh, serious. Roll 2D6 and pick the highest. Highest. Oh, recovery time. If I rolled one less, he'd have been dead. One and two. So he is out for two game two missions oh i'm not very well okay so that's d trip done el dwarfo grimbold hold on hold on one minute one minute one minute, one goddamn cotton picking minute. What does that item do? Now come on, items. Goods. Sorted goods. Because I've got two silver leaf. One does actually re-roll a result of a post injury. If this character would have died, increase the recovery by D3. Well, I'm going to have to use one. I can't have my dwarf dying. He says rolling 20 again. No, 87. 87. Knocked out. Recovery time, 0. 
but one is out for one game. <sighs> Doink! Next we have Royce. And Royce. Is having my other dose of silver leaf. Fuck off. Is a light wound. He's out for D3. He's out for one. And then we've got a follower. Yep, we're rolling for old old Bert. Uh, injury table followers. One dead. Well, um, yeah, so let me just see experience points. Yeah, um, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, each hero earns, right, okay, so we've got Galen, our only survivor, gets one point. One, yep, one point. Bugger. Um, well, that didn't go too well, did it? <laughs> hmm, so join us next time when we discover uh, the, the, the fate of our, our, our boys again. Um, I, I think they're going to try and go through that gate again. Going to have to roll on some stuff and see what happens, aren't we? So, if you want to find out what happens to Dietrich's finest, join us next time. And as usual, don't forget, if you want to comment and everything, put it in the crotch box down below. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to or subscribe. If you don't like it and don't want to subscribe, you don't have to like and subscribe. We'd like if you liked and subscribed. And until next time, stay away from more time. Or hammered. Your choice.